Hi everyone, welcome to CryptoStamp. Today we're going to talk about my top 3 innovative ICO projects of the moment. But first of all, leave a like, comment and subscribe if you want more content like this. Let's start with number 1. Number 1 is Renberry. Renberry streamlines the entire long-term rental process using blockchain and smart contract technology and eliminates the need for a middleman, making it possible for tenants and landlords to complete our rental tasks in one place. As you see, they will have a total supply of 7 million. The start date of the ICO was the December 5th, and this will end January 26th, actually today. As you see, the token sale is still live. Renberry wants to create a decentralized home rental platform, so they want to, to they want to uh, automate. Uh, they want to make the rental process automated with using blockchain by using blockchain and smart contracts. As you see, they have a pretty good-looking website with a nice structure. They also have a um, good, like well-made roadmap. As you can see here, they go as far as 2020. They have a lot of testimonials because this project is already going on for two years since 2015. They have quite some testimonials of partners, co-founders, presidents and users. And they also have a pretty nice team. It's a really big team. They also have been around for more than two years now. So that's the reason why they have a big team with a lot of young innovative people which is always nice. They have a lot of investors and advisors, which is also nice. I would like to take a look on their one pager about Renberry. Renberry is a full operating long-term rental platform that leverages blockchain infrastructure to ensure seamless rental experience and allows for crowdsourcing to help tenants save billions in rental security deposits. So what is the industry problem that they see? 1. Outdated rental platforms. Global practices still include listings of, in the form of simple online classified ads, which provide limited rental experience and essentially no value in terms of application process. Problem number two, 500 billion frozen in rental deposits. Tenants freeze billions of dollars in security deposits every time they rent. There is no internationally recognized insurance or savings that could be applied to, to quality renters. So what's the problem with those rental deposits? So renters have to leave a rental deposit or in case when they leave the house, if there is something broken or damaged, the tenant can grab some percentage of this rental deposit or all of it if he thinks that's needed. But there isn't really a insurance that protects these renters, these tenants. What could cause tenants to lose all their rental deposits for unfair practices through unfair practices what is the solution of Renberry? Renberry streamlines the entire long-term rental process using blockchain and smart contracts and eliminates the need for a middleman making it possible for tenants and landlords to complete all rental tasks in one place as you already saw in the beginning the transparent application process creates a health a healthy rental environment in which all prospective, uh, prospective tenants can customize and neg negotiate their rental offers based on the competition and as a re result rent the place at a fair and true market price. At the moment, if you are a renter and you are searching for a place to rent, there is no, no real negotiation between renters and tenants. Mostly, most of the times when you go look for, go watch a house that you are which you are interested in renting, there is a fixed price that is not really negotiable, and that you really can't compare with other 
places that are for rent on the marketplace. They want to solve this with this platform where you could compare compare different rental places and prices which you could give you the opportunity to have better deals. Second, crowdsource the rental security deposits. So members of the Renberry community may cover a portion of rental security deposits in exchange for rewards thus unblocking billions of dollars and reducing financial burden for tenants. So instead of just leaving their, rent, their rental security deposits on at a fixed, fixed place, the tenants will have the opportunity to gain rewards by depositing these security deposits in an exchange. You see their team. CEO Alex Lubinsky, former investment banking executive who founded, also, who founded and sold several companies. Lily Obstapuk, Obchus, sorry, it's really difficult name. Lily Ostapchuk managed and operated a number of rental properties across the US and Europe. And the CTO Alexei Perfilov worked at a number of prominent IT companies, including i5, Altera, Phoenix Technologies, and Amazon. You have some of their investors. So, why do I think this is innovative? Because it's the only project that does this. It's a, a project that is already on the market, that is already working on this project for over two years. And it's the project that will fill the gap of rent, renting in, with blockchain. Let's take a brief look on their social activities. They have a Facebook page with almost 13,000 likes. They're pretty active, as you see. 22 of January, they posted the last post, which was just a few days ago. They have Twitter, which has also 13k followers. Their last tweet was one hour ago. Here you see one of six hours ago, 24 of January. So there's also really active on Twitter and then they have a telegram group with 8500 members which is quite big so that was my coin my ICO number one let's go to ICO number two Yungo Yungo will create an open source solution with an, which enables anyone to provide global Wi-Fi Wi-Fi network and start earning for users it means simply fast internet access worldwide so people will be able through Yungo to share their Wi-Fi to other parts of the world and gaining rewards for this, getting compensated. Let's take a look on their website. Their crowd sale is still live if you would like to buy some tokens early on. You see that they are having a lot of port partnerships here, for example, they partnered up with Lego, Lego Wave. They are already working at it for quite some time. They have a lot of updates about the project, which is, which is also nice. Providers could buy, users could buy in. And here they have a nice looking roadmap, which goes as far as quarter four of 2019. Here are their top advisors with a nice looking team, Ricardas Bernotavicius, the co-founder and CEO, founder of multiple medtech and IoT, uh, Internet of Things companies, and a successful entrepreneur, let's see it, Dylan Sorky, management board, LinkedIn, former executive, head of sales solutions, they have some other nice looking professionals, Not really, but it looks really nice at least. Um, why do I believe Yungo is innovative? Because there isn't really another project that wants to share Wi-Fi to make ordinary people like us be able to be a provider to other people, to provide our own Wi-Fi to other people and get paid for it. And that's what I think is really innovative 
for this cryptocurrency market. Let's look at their social activities. They have 1300k followers on Facebook, likes I would say. They have almost 9000 Telegram members and over 3500 followers on Twitter, which they are all pretty active on. So that was briefly my second choice for top innovative ICOs. Now my third and last choice is Storica. For those who, does, who do not have heard, who didn't heard of Storica before, Storica is wants to become the Amazon on blockchain. Storica is a marketplace with a wide range of functions for effective sales in the world of a new digital economy. The use of blockchain technologies destroys the boundaries between sellers and buyers, allowing the creation of a unique open trading platform with infinite growth potential. So, Storica was, wants to become the Amazon on blockchain. They get coin schedule, give them a gold project medal, which is always nice to see because if coin, because coin schedule believes in the project, this makes it really makes it more reliable for ourselves. They are still their their ICO sale is still going on till the 13th of February. But hold on, because as we see here, they only need around 850,000 extra dollars invested into the pre-sale in the to in the token sale to get their hard cap where it will be sold out and where the Storica tokens will be listed on exchanges. So why do I think Storica is really innovative? Because there is not no such thing in the crypto market as a universal marketplace. Yes, there are a lot of specific marketplaces for gaming, for this, for that, but Storica wants to become a real Amazon of the blockchain where it can buy and sell everything where it can connect buyers and sellers and providers and, and create a community around Storica just like Amazon has a community around itself so let's take a look at, on their social platforms they have a huge telegram community of 21,000 members which they are really they are really active. They have a five thousand follower. They have five thousand followers on Twitter, and almost nine thousand five hundred followers on Facebook. They are also really active on all these social platforms. As you see, eight hours ago they posted something here, twenty fourth of January. The this is a token sale of twenty eighth of November. It's something else. But it's really an innovative project because there is no one, no, nothing else like this. Let's first take a look at their team. They also have a really nice looking team. Alan is respect the advice. These are advisors, but I would like to see. I would like to show you one person. You have here the CEO Roslan Tukoshev, which is the CEO and co-founder, and Evgeny Gavril, who is a co-founder and VP and marketing. This guy, Evgeny Gavrilin, has a YouTube channel with over 400,000 subscribers, and he's the marketing player of the team. So this means that the marketing player, Evgeny Gavrilin, knows how to mark to do marketing, knows how to advertise videos, knows how to advertise his project, their project because he already has a YouTube channel of far, more than 400,000 subscribers, which is amazing. They also have a nice looking road, oh, sorry, that was wrong, a nice looking roadmap, which is also really important. And overall, it is a really interesting project, which you should really buy in if you would have some money left over. So these are my three I, uh, top innovative ICOs please leave a comment below telling me if you agree with this list if you would add some some ICOs to this list 
or if you disagree to this, to this list. But thank you for watching and see you next time. Peace.